Hello and welcome back. We are going now to discuss the timeline. But before we do that, I have here a project in which we will admit that you are my customer or you might be my stakeholder or my manager. And I'm going to explain to you my project. So my project is a marketing campaign. We will go through the marketing campaign to promote a product which is a chocolate bar. To do that, marketing has decided to have us do a new marketing campaign. My marketing campaign will start if I get the approval from yourself by the 1st of September. To do that, I'm going to give you a project proposal, then after I'm going through the planning, I will have then of course to do some definition of the project and then working with other parties, I will have to prepare the marketing campaign itself. Well, then we must say that we will enter in about a six-week period where we will do, actually, the campaign. The campaign will be based on uh, Facebook, on other social networks also, and will provide three videos to be uh, distributed like that. The customers can look at them and, of course, be sensibilized to our product and feel like buying some more of our chocolate bars. Okay, so I can admit now that you are a bit confused about my project, how it goes, what will be done. You have the idea that it's a chocolate bar. We'll do a marketing campaign. So what's the link with the timeline? So, if now I would take another representation and I would just come to the timeline and give you the same explanation by telling you we are doing here a campaign, a marketing campaign for a chocolate bar. We will start the 1st of September by defining the content of the campaign. Then we'll define the content, the messages itself of the campaign and more or less by mid-September or end of September will start the campaign. The campaign itself will last about six weeks, leading us to more or less um, the 7th of November. Once the campaign is done, we'll go through an analysis of the campaign and then we have we intend to close the project by mid-November. I think with this you have a better overview of what's going to happen in my project. So this is the typical use of the timeline. So now the question is how did I manage to do the representation of the timeline? And this is what we are going to see right now. The first thing we want to do, you see here, is to go into the view and to call the timeline. So I'm going there, calling the timeline. As you can see, the timeline has more or less the start date of the project and at the, at the extreme, the finish date of the scheduled project. So now it's up to me to have other things appearing here in the project. There is here this green rectangle is the view window, meaning that on going here up I can drag it on the left and you will see that on the GAN chart I can see tasks which are happening during that period. So this is my visibility window and we said okay this project has a start date somewhere. So we have an initiation with here you can recognize a milestone. So what I'm going to do, and you will see that this principle will apply to a lot of what we are going to do, it's on this task, we can go here and simply decide to have it being displayed on the timeline, which I'm going to do. You see here now that the date of the project approval, that event, which is a milestone, is appearing. After that, I might say, OK, so we have a first phase, which is the planning. The planning, I will go and I will see this part, 
and say okay this I also want it on the timeline we'll see what happens after that as you remember there is a phase of nine days which is definition again I do exactly the same I go into the task information decide to display it on the timeline okay after that I take the preparation I can absolutely do the same I can also do the same now with the campaign itself display on timeline and you see here we have a last thing which is the project closing which is always good to have on a timeline so I will also do again exactly the same with that we have the date of start we have projects closing we have the phase in which we do the definition after we have our processes in which we'll define and prepare the content and after that we have the campaign itself I've added now the, the three mailing milestones we see them really clearly here on the timeline once this is done you might maybe want to use this timeline for something else so here we have a convenient possibility which allows us to copy the timeline you can either copy it for email and directly send it for an email you can copy it for a presentation and it would directly go into PowerPoint or you can copy it full size I think now you are ready to present your timeline to any committee or customers or stakeholders. So far so good. See you soon. Bye.